side that Rotherham perhaps feel a little hard done by, by some of the criticism, but it's all immaterial, really. It's off the field politics. All that matters is what happens over the next 90 plus minutes as the two sides take to the field in front of us. The home side, Rotherham, in red, white, red. City in the second, in their away strip of uh, grey shirts, black shorts and grey socks. And uh, it's a pretty lively New York Stadium. Rotherham have uh, filled up their ends, actually. It looked quite sparse a quarter of an hour ago, but they've come in a little late, but better late than never. Yeah, you can already hear the City fans and the noise they're going to be making, and I think we're going to hear a hell of a lot of that this evening. Absolutely outstanding from them, giving Jack Alec a massive crap as he gets down there, and uh, it's going to be a, a big evening for Jack Alec tonight. Let's see what he can offer in golf. Yeah, big night for Jack. Possibly a big week, really. We don't know if uh, Ryan Allsop will be back in time for Huddersfield on the weekend. City, of course, if things go well, could be safe before kicking a ball against Neil Warnock's Huddersfield on Sunday lunchtime. Third choice goalkeeper at uh, Rotherham. Injury issues. in possession here, hard in. High into the area. Hugh Gill hits the bar with his header. Anik was stranded. It's a corner. He was talking about early goals, and it was nearly an early goal at the other end. We know how much of a danger Jordan Hugh Gill can be, and he's shown it there. Thankfully, it's cannoned out of the woodwork. Well, you were here last time, Sam. I wasn't. Was it this loud? Uh, our end was. But they've picked up. Yeah, unsurprisingly. Only time I heard them at that, that game was when the uh, game was called off. Delivery's good again, and it's another free header wide by Richard Wood this time. Good start for Rotherham. Two minutes in. The Tet. Good turn from him inside the area. Bit of space for Romeo again to get his cross in. It's, doesn't beat the first man, though. Rotherham will clear into the channel. Hugels. Oh, no chance. Jordan Hugo, that's Rod a blatant dive. Hugo went down. Keeper he was last man. Rotherham asked for... I rated everything that bloke did for us during his six-month spell. Well, that's a blatant dive if I've ever seen one. Well, the referee isn't interested. Well, if you are going to dive, the swim pool's the best place. There's a joke <laughs> in there somewhere. Romeo, oh, bags of space for Philogene out on the right there. Time to assess his options. Cross takes a deflection, he wins a corner. We'll take the corner. Take some of the pressure off us, please. It could be a landmark on Sunday. Yeah. His rules then with the delivery. Deep corners, a good looking ball. Ooh. Keeper he got something on it, but it'll be a goal kick. This is better from City now on the pitch, getting hold of the ball, that's what we want to see. There's Odauda, little ball in field to Rawls. Nice. Oh, a lovely one too with Cabo. The captain advances, and space here inside the area for... Oh. Romeo strikes, it's a good save. It is a good save, he's just tipped it away before Keon can strike. McGuinness has got to be careful here. Just on the right side of fear, but Rotherham advancing. Odauda wins a free oh. kick. <laughs> yeah, nearly five minutes to start, Mark, but this has been better the last couple. Romeo again looks for Philogene, who gets to it first, ahead of Cameron Humphreys. Back to Romeo, and now MG to whip it in, and that's it! <laughs> And there it is, Mark!
Mark. We had an early goal here last time. We've got another one. It's that man. It's two in two. It's a brilliant header from Keon Atet. A centre forwards header diving inside the 18 yard box. Johansson, no chance. And that was composure from the young man who started exceptionally well. And it's 1 0 again here at the New York Stadium. Thoroughly deserved for the Bluebirds. Yeah, that ball into the box. Sabri's been working on this, he really has. Because when we get the ball out wide, Philogene, they're very clever, played the ball into Romeo. Romeo knew it was better to set the ball for Perry. Perry's cross is beautiful. Keon beats his man, and he's done a couple of times already. Bullet headers us ahead, deservedly so. Brilliant scenes in the away end. A few of them are topless all of a sudden, it's not that warm. Ball down the left channel, cross comes in, it's headed away. Danger not over for City though. Now it is, because Keon Atet's done brilliantly. And he bursts away again to the middle, Atet. And Peltier does really Surely well. Referee. Surely! And again, no foul, says the referee. That was less clear cut, but certainly looked like it to me. Rathbone now for rather than Benny approaches the edge of the city area down the right Rawls holds him up but Benny goes square though it's a strike from distance not a bad one it was Connor Coventry straight down the throat of Jack Anik though uncomfortable for the city keeper I don't know if this referee's been told not to give anything, but for me, that's two fouls and potentially two yellow cards to take players down while breaking away, like Philogene and the Tet have in the last two minutes. And yeah, very poor decisions. Yeah, it's really cold. It's loose defending from Rotherham again. Here's Kaba into the area. Oh, and it's a good save a this time. Save. It looked Couldn't for all do. the world that that was going to be. Sorry, Cab is ninth. Peltier tries to go over the top towards Hugo. O'Dowdard does admirably against him. No Harden foul. gets in there though. Comes back to Hugo like Bennett. Turns, crosses, good ball. Keep a brilliant header away that. Wintle didn't deal with it convincingly. Comes back Rollins way through Humphreys. This is better from the hosts. Look who it is again, furthest man back here on a tet. Oh, gives it away, did the hard part. Ball Great comes ball. in, McGuinness did enough Brilliant. to put off Hugo, it'll be a corner to Rotherham. The City could be two up here, it is only one. Rodham have a set piece opportunity from this corner. It will be Cohen Bramall, left footed in swinger from the right. City alert to the possibility of a counter, I feel. Jaden Philogene on the edge of the area. Ball comes in though, it's not cleared convincingly. Oh, now it is oh, by Marlon Romeo. I wasn't sure how that stayed out to be honest, Mark. Penalty no. box pinball. Thankfully for us, it was one of our heads on the end of it to get rid of it. Rousey tries to get rid of it. Oh, I think it was uh, Marlon Romu that eventually did. After all the good stuff from City, we don't want to be conceding sloppy goals. Quite a reunion here tonight, Sean Morrison. We had a little chat with earlier. Bamba here, of course. Peltier, all we need is Joe Bennett, and we'd have the famous back four. Yeah, we would. That's another foul on Keon and nothing given. Rotherham throw. I was giving him credit earlier on for letting the game flow, and I'll be honest, that was reasonable. It's nice when a ref tries not to take over. But some of the decisions have been bloody shambolic. Wes Harding runs into Sabri Lamucci on the touchline. And now Sol Bamba's having a go at Peltier. And Salen, Salen, excuse me, Solon Pouts now having an argument. <laughs> oh, I love it. 
Sol and Lee Peltier are going at it. Hammer and Sog on the touchline. Oh my word. Face to face. And now Sol Bama's been booked. Oh my word. I was talking about a reunion earlier. It's nine minutes until the interval. Cardiff City with a one goal advantage here. They're good for more than that, but. Ball. Oh, that's a good ball. And it's an equaliser. And Cedric Kipre feels he was pushed inside the box. Referee didn't care. And uh, she does the old Bene equalises for Rotherham. Slightly undeserved mark. It's a good ball into the box. It looked like, it, to me, like Cedric was pushed, but it's very similar to our goal as well. We've got to go again, it's 1-0. Well, on the balance of play, it isn't deserved. But it was a good finish. Good ball, good finish. Ooh. Two minutes. Oh, it's clear climbing from Cameron Humphreys. Cabba, though. Oh, that's got to be a penalty. penalty. It is. Penalty City. Villagin was brought down in the area very clearly sorry Cabba we'll have a chance from the spot oh yeah, I hope he's a bit more confident than he was on Saturday Sabri Lamucci said in his post-match press conference sorry Cabba we'll take the next one no doubt Etet and Cabba caused all sorts of problems then Philogene was freed and mercilessly brought to the ground inside the area referee was a long way away from it he missed against Stoke Last Saturday, can he score here on Thursday night? Sorry, Cabot. He's hit the bar. And now Rotherham break away down the left. Cleared out of play. Oh, dear, dear. Sorry, sorry, Cabot. Again, it was that stuttered run-up. He went the same side, only went for the postage stamp. Panic. With the long kick up field. Cabot, good flick down Philogene almost, but not quite getting to it. Rotherham making hard work of getting rid of the ball, and it comes to Keon Atetia, and he strikes. Scattered by Victor Johansson. I remember seeing Ricky Lambert score two goals at this end of the pitch in the last ten minutes of a 2-1 win. And Rawls tidies up to find Kipre. Cardiff, again, with a bit of momentum now. Good ball out from him, G. Cabo into the area. Tries to turn Humphreys. Just nudge him a little off balance. Goes down, it will be a goal kick. First touch is excellent from Sorry Carver. The second one, he's tried to beat his man. Good defending, stops him, and he, go, he does slip on the surface. It's a foul throw. Yep. Referee happy with it. Ball comes into the area. Rotherham attacking inside the box. Romeo clears. He'll come back Rotherham's way. Romeo is penalised for a foul. On a wicker warming up. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see him. Ramo oh, has a lovely ball and it'll be a corner. City are lucky it's not more. It really are. It's a lovely ball into the box. There's two men coming in on it, thankfully. The only man that can get a touch on it is Kiola Tata, the back post, to see it out. And she. as nice. well, turns inside of Rathbone still going and she looks for the 1-2 comes to Rawls yeah. couldn't uh, keep it down though goal kick Victor Johansson gets us back in the way the goal kick Rawls and McGuinness battling hard again as 
Just Wintel to get the ball forward. It'll come back to Rotherham, though, and Peltier plays that into Wes Harding. Here's Georgia Kelly. It's a poor effort, never troubling Jack Anik, his first effort. I just feel that Sabri Lamucci would like to get business done tonight. Wickham for Cabba. Anik with the restart. Nice. Tet turns. Philippines into the area. Needs a good pass here. Goes oh, for goal it's a great himself. Block. It's Peltier. He's gone to do it himself. And the former City man has stopped him from doing so. It's a corner. It's good work from Jaden Philogene, but I think he should pass it across the box and try and find Wickham. Again, Peltier's. He's been everywhere. First to it, it's out for a throw. Simpson takes short to Rawls. Back to Rawls. Delivery. Romeo challenging. It comes to Philogene. Didn't know where it was, couldn't keep it down. And then it's uh, high and over the bar from Wintel. Rawls. That's a corner. It's a Simpson, it is a corner, did well. City corner, Rawls. Stands over it, better corner, Simpson attacks it. It's cleared only as far as Philogene. Now he lifts it in, left-footed. Wood, heads clear. Philogene up for it. Oof, Winter with a brave header. Referee gives a free yeah, kick. Absolutely right. To City. It was Fosu with a high boot. Rules with a delivery high into the area. Wickham got something on it. McGinnis. Beyond! Oh, it's what set. A it's a brilliant save. It's a brilliant save from Johansson. Another chance for Keith Ray. Here's the goal! Cedric Keepray! Cedric Keepray! Oh, Montana, what a goal that could be for this football club! Amazing he scene! Has finished that superbly. I do apologise for talking over you. The excitement's taken me. The excitement's taken the players as well. Amazing scenes here. It's hit with a brilliant effort that was saved. It fell in the area. Kibre with composure scores for the second consecutive away game and what a critical goal that might be 2-1 the Bluebirds lead two minutes left to play oh Mark what a moment that is what a moment that is in off the bar angry Mr Rotherham's giving me daggers to my right I don't care sir Now City have a big job to do, to hold on here. Nothing silly. Like Jack Anik has just cleared that into Rotherham City centre. That's the way to uh, put the ball out of play. Scenes in the away end. Unbelievable, Cedric Keepray. 90 minutes up. Board is going up now. Two minutes. Come on, two minutes. Oh, seven, seven minutes of stoppage. Seven. Seven. Sawyer's a little bit short there. Rawls have to do is running for him as Og. Ben A comes away down the right in field to Fosu. Now Kina. Strike from distance, Anik comfortable. And then in the end, rolls it out to Wes Harding. How long have we got, Sam? I can't see the clock. 
seconds. Harding goes long into the area. Kelly controls oh, it. Oh, fired wide from Peter. Fired wide. It'll be a goal kick. That should be that. Have City done business here? I think they have, you know. That's it. There's the whistle. Oh, yes. The Bluebirds have won at Rotherham. In fantastic fashion, Cedric Kipre's late winner. Decisive in a 2-1 win. The right result happened. We know what happened here six weeks ago. We know it wasn't just. The Bluebirds have come and done the job tonight and all but secured their future, barring something quite frankly extraordinary happening over the last two games. Tremendous, tremendous evening, celebrations on the pitch and in the stands. Rotherham's worries continue, Cardiff's have been alleviated significantly. These fans and these players and these staff, help, we can all enjoy it. As Sabri acknowledges the travelling supporters. We're going to say good evening for now. Thank you so much for joining us and enjoying it. And uh, we'll be back for the visit of Neil Warnock's Huddersfield midday on Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your night, Bluebirds.